Hi there, Ron Sabatka here, Technical Marketing Manager for Corteva AgriScience Seed Applied Technologies team. Today I want to talk to you about a few helpful tips as you prepare for a successful planting season and how you can attain accurate seed singulation to maximize genetic performance. I'm going to talk through a few different techniques and procedures that will help ensure optimized seed flow and singulation. The process starts by selecting the highest performing Pioneer Genetics traits and Lumigen seed treatments specific to H Farm. Next is utilizing a few simple techniques that will improve seed singulation. Be rest assured that any of our seed sizes, seed shapes, and seed treatment combinations can be accurately placed with these planting practices. Although seed condensation is uncommon, I will also spend a little time talking about this phenomenon as it can cause plantability concerns that we don't want, such as seed bridging, poor seed flow, and poor singulation. Not to worry though, I will simplify the science behind seed condensation and offer a few techniques. So let's get started. Our seed production teams make sure that seed is properly dried by the time it enters the box. Yet we know moisture can collect on the seed inside boxes and center fill hoppers. This is called seed condensation. When cold seed is exposed to higher temperatures and humidity, water can collect on the surface of the seed. This kind of science is exactly the same as when water collects on the windows of your home occasionally. Let's put this into perspective though. Does water collect on your house window every morning? No, it's really an occasional thing. Same thing with seed condensation. If the outside temperature is 20 degrees higher than the seed temperature, the risk of seed condensation is higher. Seed temperature is typically cold, or around 50 degrees at the beginning of the planting season. Under normal circumstances, when planting in April, temperatures are usually in the 60 to 70 degree range. So we typically don't have any issues with seed condensation under these circumstances. Occasionally, we can have temperatures that spike in the 70s and 80 degree range. Under these circumstances, we will want to use more talc to keep the seed dry. Which brings us to differences in planter aids. There are several different types of planter aids, and each planter manufacturer has specific recommendations regarding which type they prefer for their planters, so follow their guidelines. There are a few key differences between planter aids that I will explain. Talc is a naturally occurring mineral that acts as a drying agent and a lubricant and reduces static electricity. The key to remember here is that talc is very good drying agent. Up next is graphite, which consists of crystalline carbon flakes that easily slide on each other, which forms a dry lubricant that helps reduce wear on equipment, improves seed flow, and reduces static electricity. However, graphite is not a good drying agent. Talc graphite blends are very common too. The last is fluency agent, which consists of polyethylene wax-based lubricants. Like graphite, fluency agents are good lubricants that reduce wear and tear, but are not good drying agents. So, if seed condensation is likely when air temperature is more than 70 degrees, talc is the best choice to absorb water collecting on the seed. Okay, now if you have heated storage, you can really help reduce risk of seed condensation by raising the seed temperature to the 60 degree range. All right, final recommendation regarding planter aids is the importance of mixing this material well in the central fill hoppers. Bottom line here is that adequately mixing the recommended planting aid will allow for excellent planting success with all of our seed sizes, shapes, and seed treatments. We did some research in an environmental chamber to show this. Poorly mixed seed only had a 12% improvement, whereas the well-mixed planter aid, we improved seed flow by 156%. 
And here is a great demonstration from that trial too. The first treatment is no planter aid. And as you can see, it takes several shakes to get the seed out of the tube. The second treatment is poorly mixed planter aid. And although better than with no planter aid, it is still poor seed flow. Now the third treatment, which is well mixed planter aid, the seed flows right out of the tube without any extra effort. Let's walk through a good mixing process. We start by adding a quarter to a half cup of planter aid to the bottom. And if it's the first field, I would add a little more to lubricate the seed tubes as well. As the seed is being transferred to the center field tank, the best method for thorough mixing is to dribble the planter aid as the seed is being transferred. Mechanical applicators are available for this process, but if you don't have a mechanical applicator, by hand will work too. It's really important to wear a mask as we don't want to breathe any of this material into our lungs. And finally, use a plastic scoop once you have finished adding the seed. We used the scoop from John Deere that worked really well. When we did our field trial with this 36 row John Deere planter, we compared well mixed on the left to poorly mixed on the right. And as you can see, there is a big difference in color between the two. By the way, we compared 41 pound seed, 63 pound seed, mid rate and high rate treatments. And what we learned was we could plant any combination at 10 miles an hour with seeding rate of 70,000 per acre and get 98 to 99 percent singulation accuracy as long as we use the right amount of planter aid and mixed it well. Bottom line, a little preparation and understanding the importance of planter aids will help make your planting season be successful. Remember, the process starts by selecting the highest performing Pioneer Genetics traits and Lumigen seed treatments specific to H Farm. Rest assured that any of our seed sizes, seed shapes, and seed treatment combinations can be accurately placed using the planter practices I talked about. And finally, seed condensation is not common, but remembering when temperature spikes above 70 degrees are expected, be ready to add a little more talc to absorb that moisture, and don't be shy about mixing that planter aid. Thanks for listening in, and we truly wish you a successful planting season. For more information, contact your local sales representative.